Hi Libra, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Yes, this is the full oracle card spread that we're going get, to get into right now. Libra, sun, moon, rising, energy, wherever Libra influences your natal chart, that's the energies that we're talking about. You can apply these energies for the next to 7 to 10 days. Um, hold on, Libra. Let's see. Let's see what pops out. Whatever is crowning your energy. Let's see the crowning energy. Watch and wait. So be still and be patient. You also could be dealing with a Pisces, but this is be this is take in information. You still need more information on some sort of subject that you are deliberating about. Um, you're also very, very emotionally caught up in this because this is Piscean energy. It affects you very deeply. You are definitely um, not wanting to make any decisions right now because... Um, because it's so personal and so close to you. Uh, there is, this is your crowning energy. So this is the energy of hopefully information will be coming in to start making things clear. So just be patient and your answers are almost near. Uh, watch and wait. This could have something to do with parenting as well. Because, uh oh, wait, be playful and overcome any obstacle. This isn't, this is a heavy situation, a situation that makes you feel buried and it makes you feel stuck. It's a situation or a circumstance that you really can't find an upside to. Um, um, yeah, it, maybe that's why it's watch and wait. It's, you don't even want to watch and wait. That's the thing. There's frustration here. It, this is like you're, this is like a, 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 the feeling of not being able to be what you want to be or not be able to do what you want to do or be with who you want to be with because something is holding you back or holding you down. This is real hardcore. I didn't choose this, but I'm tethered. I'm tethered too hard. I'm tethered too tight to a specific spot. This is like things going on underneath the surface. This is roots. This is something sucking you down. This is, this is definitely like, like, um, trying to break through ice, but from underneath before you drown. That's what this energy is. It's like if this, if this poor, um, rhinoceros tried to move, he couldn't, he'd be flipped upside down on his back with his horns stuck in the ground. This is usually you can overcome any obstacle. You don't know how to overcome this. You feel really caught up in it, really stuck. There's change coming too, because these are two fives could be changed to a relationship that you feel caught up in and and I've been getting this for you for a while and I feel like you know what Libra if you didn't make the moves to say no and get out of this relationship this is where you end up so for those Libras that had like back in October when I said it's time to leave it's time to go it's time to move on they're probably feeling something different right now they're probably trying to, they're probably finding things a little bit more like wanting to root energy that they want to root or finding something that they actually want to commit to. But right now, for those who didn't, this is like the energy of being stuck, of being, of being, of, and not being happy about it and not knowing or seeing that you have any chance for escape. Um, time for a change bring a gentle touch so this is about love there's something to do with um it's maybe somebody that you care about or there could be children involved in this circumstance uh you want to handle handle it very delicately and i said it has something to do with parenting this is the energy of being protective and wanting to watch not really understanding maybe one of your children is in pain or in distress or something is going on in their lives right now that you don't know, like it's almost like you can't cure or you can't heal. So you're waiting for some sort of healing or advice or medicine to break through. You know, medicine, it could be of the spiritual kind or of the literal kind. This is the energy of um, being extra special tender with somebody's emotions right now because they're not they're not in a good space. They're in a very uncomfortable place and their situation is serious. Act as if, fake it till you make it. So this is definitely having to put on a pretty face. 
having to put on a face of, oh, everything is going to be okay. Um, you're trying to color yourself in a way that makes everybody think that everything is fine, but that's really not what's going on. That's not. Um, and little bits and pieces of you, for those who are looking closely enough or carefully enough, they're starting to see things chip away and you're starting to see it chip away too. Little by little, this facade that you've put on that everything is going to be okay, everything is fine, it's, it's falling apart. This is once again the energy of uh, 14, so 4 plus 1 is 5. You have a lot of 5 energy on here and you also have this energy of 9, which is something is coming to a head. Something is, is coming to the surface, going to be revealed, so hopefully you can, you can deal with it then. But you're having a hard time holding on right now. There is always enough. This is the energy of spiritual support and abundance, emotional support. This is once again another Piscean, more Piscean energy. So there's lots of Piscean energy swimming around you. This has to do with dreams or goals or your dreams and goals being one and the same of fantasy and maybe illusion, maybe being lost in illusion. Maybe having fantasy actually be something that helps you right now to carry you away from the situation that you can't seem to get that get unstuck from but it could also be too much like you're escaping too much in fantasy and that's sort of what's crackling and crumbling and making things seem even worse because there's no action being taken to actually help or solve or so solve the issue now for those of you dealing with issues that you can't personally solve and you're just sitting here and watching something happen that you can't control that is hurting you or a certain feeling like you're stuck in a situation that you can't have any effect over. This is that energy of, you know, um, maybe you need a little bit of fantasy in your life right now, this Piscean energy to carry you away or take you away. There's always, there's always space and there's always room for another person. I don't know in the movie theater or, you know, um, um, in the dream world, this is also though the accumulation of three plus six is nine. This is also once again, something coming to the surface of, I almost feel like forget this is always enough. Libra, it seems like this is too much. It seems like in other words, what this energy is for this card where it's placed is, but things just keep being pushed at me. They keep being thrown at me more and more and more. There's always more struggles. There's always more challenges. There's always more reasons to stay when I want to go. Use your mind wisely when pigs fly. Once again, I don't think that you ever expected to be in the situation or really wanted to be in this situation. This is the energy of the impossible happening. So this circumstance could have caught you off guard. You know what I think? I think a lot of you were ready to leave. I think a lot of you were ready to be out the door, but because of this circumstance that hit you real close to home, for some reason you had to stay. Whether it was staying in a job that you hated because all of a sudden financial obligations came up or staying in a relationship that you were about to get out of and about to be free from because of the fact that something came up and like somebody, somebody that you mutually cared about needed protection or um, yeah, it's like, what if one of the kids was sick or what if one of the, um, like the kids needed some sort of attention or special, special needs or wh whatever it was, there is a sense of you sticking around and staying because of that circumstance. Reclaim your power. This is definitely this feeling of watching from the shadows, watching life go by, this feeling of watching life pass you by and feeling like life is passing you by. And this is you attempting to come out of the bushes and jump back into life again to you you've lost a little bit of a sense of yourself you've allowed the sense of yourself to sort of be washed away libra and to be eaten up by all this other energy and it's time for you to start focusing on you again it's time for you to reclaim who you are it's it's time for you to emerge from the shadows of whatever has been overcasting you Ooh, all right. Because of this new camera angle, I'm sorry, my, my camera stand broke, so um, I won't be able to do the flip reverse of um, the phone. Oh, well, I might be able to, but I won't be able to do it in the extended. Just an FYI, guys. I'm really kind of frustrated right now. 
Um, bring your ideas to life. This is something intervening, a shock from heaven or an electric shock. This is having a big idea, a grand idea. Um, I'm just not sure how far you took it. It almost feels like it got muted in all the emotions. It got stuck. Like it, it, like like this fantastic energy that was that felt like it was popping off all of a sudden just got stuck, like eaten up by all the emotions and all the needs and all the requirements around you, and then trust in the magic. Bring your ideas to life. This slowing down period could be a blessing in disguise for you because there is this energy of being able to work and focus on what you really want to work and focus on. So use the time wisely. Use your time wisely, lose your, use your mind wisely, Libra, and just basically maybe this is the time to dream. This is the time to set up that new business or set up that new business plan. This is the time to get all those ducks in a row. While you're stuck, don't sit there and stew. You know, don't sit there and focus on what's making you unhappy. Just just sit sit there and let it be and let all the craziness go on around you and get back to business. Start actually working on those things that you might not have had time for. I don't know if some of you, oh, look it. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. This trust in divine detours. You're about to get some divine intervention. Thank God, because you... But this time around, you have to literally take that opportunity because I feel like a lot of you are here right now because you didn't act upon what you needed to act upon in October. Because I remember a similar energy like this in October of this is the time you have to break out of this old cycle, old relationship, old pattern. If you didn't, you need to, you need to jump on it. You need to... Um, when the opportunity comes in, and this card is suggestive of the opportunity coming in, you need to just take it. You need to not hesitate. You need to just jump on board. Love is all around. There are so many opportunities for love, and I feel like you're very distracted. I feel like there is an upset here in terms of love and romance, especially maybe in terms of your home. This could be being very tempted to cheat or being very tempted to step outside the relationship because um, there are so many new options and opportunities around you. This is Gemini energy. This is the feeling of um, communications coming through, uh, people complimenting you, uh, giving you praise, and it's sort of like warming your heart in a way that you haven't felt in a while or that you haven't felt at home. Time for a deep dive. Yeah, I almost feel like you're, this is Libra energy. This is your own energy coming through, but the Venus portion of your own energy. And it's almost like I feel like you have been, it's almost like you've been starved for love or you've been kept from love for a long time or you have been disappointed by the love that you have been receiving and things are about to change, but it's not necessarily changing with the partner that you're with. Truth transcends illusion. Something is coming out. So whatever it is you've tried to hide or tried to keep to yourself, this is Aquarian energy sort of drawing out that truth. Now, this is life-saving for you because if you tried to bury it or pretend like everything is okay, you really need somebody to liberate you. Uh, sing your own song, getting back into tune with what you really want out of life and being honest about it, um, using your voice, maybe actually literally using your voice to express yourself, express who you are, talk and say who you are out loud and be honest because it's that honesty that makes people want to listen. Nothing is wasted and be loyal, to, but no, nothing is wasted. This is finding treasure in a trash heap. So there is a blessing coming through for you this week. And I think it has something to do with, in other words, as soon as you have the opportunity to say what you need to say this week, you just let it, please let it out. Please, you're going to have the opportunity to actually speak your mind and speak your opinion this week. Then you need to be honest and you need to be truthful and don't hold anything back. Um, be loyal to what you love. Say what you mean and be sincere. This is that's a hundred percent this energy, Libra. A hundred percent. Trust in what you love. Take a leap of faith. Trust in what you love is the right thing. Trust in what you want to build. There is some sort of countenance to or consistency, like or or potential to. Just just don't be afraid of 
of being loyal to who you are. I think that you've tried to be loyal for a long time in a sticky situation where that wasn't working for you. I feel like your strings have been pulled because you are a loyal person. This is the energy of strings being pulled and manipulated so that somebody maybe could get something they wanted out of you or just feeling like you were stuck or trapped when you tried to take a leap of faith. It's like spider catches the grasshopper, right? Um, and it's based on his loyalty. It's based on what he had to, to give. And I think that's what actually happened. Somebody tried, has tangled you up in a bullshit web of them literally tying you up and trapping you because you are a loyal person. In other words, using your loyalty against you to get what they want from you. Spirit has your back and be generous of spirit. This is Capricorn energy and Leo energy. This is finding confidence and self-sustainability like and, and sort of self-centeredness almost. This is like... This is the time you have got to prioritize yourself. You've got to make the decision um, to refine yourself again and reprioritize who you are. Libra, this is the energy of government or law or a decision. And this is what I'm hearing because this is your grounding energy. If you want somebody to decide in your favor, if you want what you want to come into your life, you have to speak about it in front of authority figures with confidence. You have to deliver your message no matter if you could be talking to the president of the United States, it doesn't matter. You have to deliver your message with confidence because if you don't deliver your message with confidence, it's going to be overlooked and you're going to be stuck back in the same situation getting what other people have left for you or, or being used by other people. So this is really the moment to speak up over the next seven days before we go into retrograde and then you're just going to be stuck big time for the next month and a half and you're going to have to wait even longer. But like I said, um, might have been in Sagittarius reading, you might want to go find that. Um, there was some sort of reading of the what you sow over the next seven days is the crop that you will reap. So make damn sure it's based on your truth and what you really want. And please speak with authority. Speak with confidence. Speak with belief in yourself, in faith, in what you know. You know, spirit is basically letting you guide it, not vice versa. You know, so it's it's saying, listen, wherever you show up, I'll be. So where is your focus this week, Libra? Um, all right, I'm going to go into the extended. If you want the extended, that link is below. Remember, it includes that, um, that love reading. Um, and do leave your comments below because you know I love to know. I'll see you next week, Libra.